are yet to see the new banknotes, but aren't short of opinion on how they will impact them. The central bank says the $50 note will enhance transaction convenience. However, some are concerned the new tender could have unintended consequences. Transport fares were recently raised to $120, but I foresee them going up to $150 now so that there are no challenges of change. We used to have coins and two $5 notes, but they're no longer in circulation since higher denominations were introduced. So this $50 note simply means the phasing out of the $10 note. But analysts have downplayed the fears. Our economy is been very speculative and we have got uh, some rent seekers and arbitrary growers in our economy. The expectation is always that prices are going to go up, which I think from the measures that are, have been put up by Reserve Bank, we don't expect any increase in the prices. And even the functionality of the auction system I think will also help defend any price increase because it becomes unreasonable. The central bank has punished companies that get money on the foreign currency auction at the official rate but price their goods using the parallel market rate. It's also adjusted its quarterly reserve money growth targets from 22.5% to 20% in order to maintain a downward trajectory on inflation. Even at the target of 22.5% reserve money growth, we are significantly lower in the first quarter of 2021. At a time we expected the reserve money growth was going to be higher. We have done significantly well to contain it in the regions of around 10%. Analysts expect the monetary expansion to be held below the new target in the next quarter, which will help bring inflation down to the year-end target of 25%. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.